I thought she looked like a junkie. Her eyes were red all the way through. This is great because it's not just a bad film, it's a catastrophic film. Yeah. And it's not just a meh film, it's a, an absolute news story and it's god awfulness. It, it can't get any worse. It can't get any worse. It can't get any worse. reminded me most of an in-flight magazine, a really crappy one, with much less good writing. It's dreadful. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's not very good. No, it's not terribly good. I won't spoil the ending uh, because, <laughs> frankly, <laughs> well, I could because nobody should go and see it. It's really, it's really bad. Jesus Christ, he can't act. I mean, he's just appalling. It's one of those things that you just think, oh, let's never speak of it again. I did find it sort of startlingly boring. The sporting cast are very weak. You don't care about any of them. They're not funny or pretty or anything. Uh, sorry. I mean, I think there's a difference between willfully appalling acting and what Pete Doherty is doing here, um, which is just... I can't imagine it's willful. It is just awful. I mean, I, I can't remember the, when I last saw such a bad film, really. <laughs> I mean, I just found it completely horrible from start to finish. It's certainly not funny. I didn't think it was particularly well made. It was incredibly repetitive. It was just brainless for me. It was as brainless as the spring break itself. I think there's something really outrageous about this film, and I didn't enjoy it at all. And actually, at least it has a sort of strata of poison in mm. it, enough to make it, you know, give the sort of cocktail a bit of kick. This really doesn't, and it just goes on forever. I can't imagine who would actually go and see this. I don't imagine sort of what kind of sick mind would choose to go and watch this kind of crap. Dialogue's not great, the plot's, you know, the framing's off, the turns off, the script is dreadful, the performances are, uh, I guess they're okay. You're sort of sat there thinking, is it just me or is this not just kind of mediocre but actively a bit awful? Blimey, you get sick of this quickly. Really boring. The plot seems very garbled. Where does banter stop and complete yeah. bollocks begin? Yeah. There's no, <laughs> you've no idea. I can't imagine myself <laughs> being prepared to watch this again, even professionally, because it was it really, really got on my nerves. Where he falls down his characterisation, you know, the uh, Matt Damon character is quite boring, you know, that his love interests are very dull. Jodie Foster's character is a dreadful panto, weird, megalomaniac French lady. Um, awful character. It's fantastically boring and awful and doesn't make any sort of sense. And the casting is terrible. Dreadful plots, awful script, terrible acting. It's a, a bit gross, actually, and not that sexy. It's certainly not worth seeing. Chris O'Dowd is, is the love rival just a complete waste of space. Catherine, an awful lot here about whether art is worth dying for. Would you die for Monuments Men? I nearly died in it. <laughs> it's absolutely dreadful. It's such a tip. He's so out of his depth and it does just feel insulting. You don't just think you're a much less good filmmaker than I thought, you also think you're a much less smart person than I thought because this is so ill-conceived. This is such a bad move. It's the most horrible, <laughs> um, egocentric pile of crap ever. You know, it's just awful. It's crippled by his vanity. Absolutely crippled. I, I'm sure that Michelle and Qureshi think that that's cute. It, it isn't. The whole concept of an origin story about the Lone Ranger, it's like, who cares? I just find it faintly absurd, I'm afraid. I just thought it was kind of bollocks. This is one of the cheapest films. Yes. Cheapest looking films I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it is so charmingly dreadful. It is pretty, pretty atrocious. Certainly a one star. There's some problems, like the plot and, and sort of lots of stuff about the direction and performances. It's like you're sort of three or you've <laughs> never seen a picture before or something. It's very irritating. It was just awful. I hated the music, but and I hated most of the film and it was incredibly boring and slow. It felt to me like a kind of game that you play if you're a seven-year-old and you've got a toy boat and a bath and little imagination. <laughs> I thought this was a disaster, an absolute stone cold disaster. It didn't make me laugh once. I thought it was a proper turkey, I'm afraid. It's just really odd and not in a good way. I did <clears throat> ultimately, I suppose, come down on the side of, of quite, quite hating this, uh, very much wanting it to stop almost as soon as it started. Um, but you know, this isn't actually that bad.